Hello and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial. In this one we are going to cover how to achieve the soft focus effect. This is really a very simple technique that will add a dreaminess to your photo. Before we start though, let's cover how you can do this in camera. To get a soft focus effect, you'll need to buy a soft focus filter. They typically either have bumps or ridges on it to diffuse light and get a soft focus, hence the name. Now the first problem is finding these. Camera stores as a whole have moved away from filters and no longer carry very many. I've only been able to find soft focus filters through online auction sites. Another problem with these, at least for my cameras, is you have to shoot on manual mode in order to get a proper exposure, because the filter creates difficulty in the light meter to work properly. As a result, I largely just add the effect in afterwards in Photoshop or a similar editing program, and here is how I do it. We are going to begin with this photo right here, which I will make for available for download at the website. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to enhance adjust lighting levels. What we're going to do is we're going to reduce the contrast a bit because we're going to be stacking layers. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer. Do it, drag it down here, layers duplicate. What we're going to do is we're going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And now what you want is you want a radius roughly equivalent to your megapixel count. This one will be about around 9.3. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into layer and adjust the blending mode. We're going to hit select soft light. Now this does add a certain dreaminess as you can tell right here. a little bit soft, the light is a bit diffused. However, the contrast is still a bit low. It's not quite up to what I would consider a finished image. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge down the layers, enhance adjust lighting levels, and bring it back into some of the lighting that we lost here. Let's bring that back to where we like. Okay, that's one technique here. Another technique will begin the exact same way. Enhance, adjust lighting, levels, and we're going to reduce the contrast again because we'll still be stacking layers. Now, we're going to duplicate the layer again. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this up quite a bit more. We're going to almost going to double this, if not more. This gives more of a um, diffused lighting or a glow to it. And instead of soft light, which does work fine here, we're going to instead select overlay, which really exaggerates this. It really makes it soft, very dreamy. This is a bit more dramatic than the other one and has a very stylistic feel to it. Same thing again though, we're going to flatten the image, enhance, adjust lighting, go back to our levels, and just pick up some of the contrast that we lost. Okay, for a final technique here, we're going to try and stay a bit truer to the actual photo filter itself. The first two were more of a digital interpretation of a soft, fil soft focus effect. Now. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by duplicating the layer. We don't really want to destroy this background layer in case we have to go back and start over. We also don't have to adjust the contrast because we're not stacking layers in this one. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool, which is under your rectangular one, if you have the rectangular one over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. It doesn't matter. We can center it, and that's exactly what we're going to do right here. And then we're going to invert the selection. Control shift i inverts the selection. What we're going to do is then go to blur, Gaussian blur again, and this can be pretty high. The filter I have does quite a bit of blurring around the edges. 23.3 in this case is acceptable. You can play around with it a bit. Go around 18. Now we're going to deselect this, and this looks good around the edges, but what we have is we have a very, very sharp cutoff between the blurry and the non-blurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a smaller circle, smaller than the original circle that we created, center that, and we're going to invert the selection. Now by doing this, we're going to blend this in here by going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. Now we don't need something quite as heavy, 7 or 6, definitely single digits here just enough to get rid of that sharp, sharp edge. Now if you see, we deselect it, and what we actually have here is, is we actually have two different layers here. I don't know if you can tell them here. I'll draw them. One right here, and then we have another one over here. I don't know how well this is going to show up here. And that's our final technique. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future tutorials.